and welcome back to the channel I'm so happy to have you with me today because I'm very excited about this interview today because I have somebody very special here with me <laughs> and his name is Nee Nee happens to play the guitar for me and um, we met through kind of a, a mutual friend sort of kind of and um, boy am I happy we did um, I think we've been doing some great stuff together and I definitely look forward to working with him more and doing some more stuff, you know, maybe some original stuff. We gotta, we gotta get busy. <laughs> He's a busy guy, okay? So, you know, uh, we, we gotta find the time, but we're here to talk about him today and I want to know, um, how did you even get started in music? He's, he has so much stuff going on, so tell us about um, some of the stuff you have going on. And um, how you got started doing music? Uh, wow. How do I start? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's okay. Um, I think I think it's a family based thing. Okay. The whole music thing. Yeah. My dad was a choir director. My mom was in the choir. Mm. My sister sings. My brother sings. Oh, nice. My brother plays guitar. It's. Oh, I think cool. it's in the family. So yeah. I grew up like... to most of. Yeah. Some music family. Yeah, yeah. That's dope, yo. <laughs> yeah. Like Yeah, but then my brother and I we took it like very personal. So we, we like really like took it like a full career. Mm -hmm. So it's more like we're doing music full time. Uh -huh. Yeah. But the rest is just churchy stuff. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. We all get that church start. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we all do. Yeah, so that's yeah. that's the base. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's how I started. Okay. And then here we are. And here we are. <laughs> and where are we? Where uh, are we right now? Where are we? Where are we right now? So me is a is an acoustic guitarist and arranger. Um, he's a vocal coach, okay. uh, music director. Yeah, I think I think that's it. Nothing extraordinary. <laughs> okay, no, that is extraordinary. Everybody can say that, right? Uh, now we're sitting in your studio yeah, right now. Yeah. Yeah. Newly renovated, still working on it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, um, yeah, it was actually a dream some time ago, uh -huh. and it's coming true now. So, oh, yeah, that's awesome. That's <laughs> yeah, good. I'm really excited because when I started, it was, I was like, Can I do this? Mm -hmm. But right. we're doing it, right? Exactly. <laughs> it's scary, isn't it? It is yeah. scary, it is scary, very, mm -hmm. very scary because. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you think about the cost involved, and then, mm -hmm. oh, try it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because you feel like, no, let me just stay at home, you know. Right. When I have a show, I go and play my show. Mm -hmm. Don't think about studio, and then not think about creating something. Just play my shows, make my money, come home. Right. My shows. Yeah. But then, we decided to do it. Right. No matter how difficult it looks. And that's what's important is yeah, just yeah. pushing through no matter how difficult mm -hmm. it is mm -hmm. because yeah. one step at a time is what you have to t to say yeah. you know that's what I always tell myself when I'm doing stuff like this like the when you look at the end result it's so big and yeah. if you just look at that you'll never start but if you just look at okay well let me just let me buy this keyboard let me just start with that okay let me yeah. you know let me get the place let me True. look at places and one step and next thing you know you're there. So that's awesome. I'm happy for you. Thank you. Yeah. And his studio is called The Muse Music. Yeah, The Muse Hub. The Muse, Muse Hub. The Muse Hub, okay. Muse Hub. Yeah. So if you're in Accra area and you are looking for a studio to record, you can check me out in his studio and um, he'll, he'll hook you up, give you some music lessons and everything all in one. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So tell me about the music scene here in Ghana. What do you What do you think about the music scene here? You want to give me trouble? <laughs> no, no. I think it's uh, good. The music scene here. Hmm. We have to narrow it down. Okay. All yeah. right. So, if you were to describe your experience as a musician in this music scene, okay. how would you describe it? Um, personally, the kind of music I do, I don't think we, we already, I don't think we have a face at this time. Because um, acoustic music is known to just the people who own restaurants and bars. And so far, I'm yet to see someone release an acoustic album. Or mm-hmm. acoustic EP. I'm yet to see that. I'm actually working on that though. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, so I, I think I think the acoustic musicians here are not. Um, I I'm looking for a better word. Um, they they end up going to the studio mm-hmm. and then doing what other people are doing, what other musicians are doing, which is let's say the Afro beats. They end up going to the studio and doing program beats for their stuff. Okay. Where probably in the society we see them as acoustic musicians. Okay. But then when they bring the song out, yeah. it's not acoustic. It's just basically program beats and then you know everyone wants to vibe to it. Right. Which is fine. So I feel I feel they, they feel that is what the trend is. So they wanna be there because they want people to listen to them. That's right. Yes. But then Acoustic musicians, like me, for instance, I don't really care. Right. I, I like yes, you need the people to listen to what you want to bring out, but I feel we can do that with acoustic music and the people tend to love it. I think so too. Yeah. I think I I love acoustic music and I love being able to turn those trends and that you know that bop into an acoustic. Yes. Um, you know, song it it just brings a whole different vibe. So I I I think that it's it's good. But yeah, maybe do you think that is because like the exposure just isn't there, and people just don't get it. You know, do you think that? One people don't get it. Mm-hmm. Two yes, exposure is not there. So mm-hmm. if it was there, I don't think acoustic musicians would be trying to do something Afro beat into it. You can do Afro beat with acoustic. Mm-hmm. Which, is, which is fine. Yeah. You could do it, yes. You hear people do um, just guitar songs. Yeah. Just guitar songs. And they're hits. Yeah. So I think we can do that. If you release an album of 12 songs and then it's, a, a, it's fully acoustic, I'm sure two two or three would, would make the market. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I think we should just stick to it and do it. Yeah. yeah. Let's let's push it in the throat of the people yeah. so that they, they tend to know that there's also that side of music right not just it's not just for the restaurants and the pubs Mm -hmm. because they can't pay for a band right right so they have to go and call an acoustic guitarist to come and play something for like two hours Mm -hmm. but then they should know that it is also a side of music that also must be commercial Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. out there yeah everywhere yeah that's very true i totally agree yeah so, what would you say to somebody who is aspiring, even like me, to break into the music industry here? Um, what would you say to them? Um, hard work is one. Mm-hmm. Like, stay focused. Because mm-hmm. uh, this industry is not, easy. It's not an easy one. Mm-hmm. It's a, this industry is a place where no matter what you do, people would will tend to bring you down no matter what yeah um kofi another said something he was like if you have a song you take it to heaven and then you record it with jesus mm-hmm. and god does the mastering mm-hmm. and the angels do the backing vocals mm-hmm. trust me it will still not be nice to someone <laughs> <Exactly>. so, <laughs> yeah. yeah so uh, this so industry true. you really have to push it like hard work because you see sometimes some people are working hard mm-hmm. no one is seeing them Yes. But then, there's that one day that comes. Yes. So just keep pushing. Don't, so don't yeah. Don't don't get weak. Just mm-hmm. keep pushing, pushing. 
do more. I know there are a lot of underground artists who want to come mm. out and challenge. You guys keep doing it. Like, yeah. Keep pushing. Keep recording. Yeah. Keep paying for the studio sessions you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Just keep doing them. One day, yeah. it will just come out. But right. do sensible music. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know, music yeah. is, a, is, is a creative. Like, it's a craft. So, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's your thing. If you like it, do it. Who cares yeah, yeah. what anybody else thinks? Mm. You know, it's 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 for somebody. Sure. It's not for everybody. Mm -hmm. It's for somebody. So do you? That's yeah, what I true. think. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But it's it's you're right. It's it's not easy. Mm -hmm. um, and in Ghana, I'm finding that it's like live music in particular is kind of just becoming a thing, maybe. And um, so people you know, are just getting into it because yeah. like you said, everybody's just, you know, Afro beats and then uh, hey, they the ready to dance, you know. You know. They, want, they want to dance to something. <laughs> if your your song is not danceable <laughs> then they're like, What yeah. am I supposed to do? <laughs> just sit here and listen? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, because the whole country's always dancing, which I I love by the way. Mm -hmm. I totally love it. Um but yeah, but sometimes it's good to just have that when you can like you said, I know you've told me before, like sometimes people just need to listen. Yes. They don't need to sing along. Yes. They don't need to do anything. Just no. listen to, Just listen. to you. Yeah. So I, I like that. And I took that with me. So yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh. So what's what's next for me? Uh, me, So, um, right now I'm just working on projects. Um, I'm doing a cover project, okay. acoustic cover project. So it's just gonna be basically covers of songs mm -hmm. um, just to rearrange them a little and just put it out um, I'm working with my choir on a Christmas special as well mm -hmm. so we'll be doing we'll be releasing that in December mm -hmm. and um, yes and a couple of projects coming up too okay yeah he has a lot of different things going on <laughs> guys like um around mm -hmm. December he's gonna be doing some stuff you yeah. you even have a street tour that you yeah, yeah, yeah. be so, rescheduled yes, exactly mm. um I asked, had to postpone because um we are getting unexpected rains God it's crazy right now with like, this weather yeah wow. like all of a sudden so <laughs> um I'm I'm torn in between putting it to next year okay or doing the first episode in December okay so I'm yet to decide if information in the um, not comments but in the details so that you can reach him if you want to check out his YouTube what is the name of your YouTube it's me music N I I M U Z I C K okay me music so check him out on YouTube he does some pretty cool stuff there some covers and different things yeah. um, so yeah check him out there too yeah and before I forget I'm um I'm I'm working on a project as well I call it the Yule Time New Music. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I bring on board anyone, singers, rappers, poets. Mm -hmm. um, we just do covers and then we put them down for Christmas. Oh, cool. So we, we release them during the Yule Time season. I think Yule Time starts this year from the first. So I think from the first to the third year. Okay. So yeah, so it's a consistent day of putting out content. So just hit me up. And then yeah, so if you're interested, definitely get them up. Yeah, we'll be looking out for that. That's exciting. Yeah, I'm interested, so hey, maybe you'll see me on there. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Whether she likes it or not. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Thank you for talking to me today. Thank you, Ty. Thank you very um, much for coming. Of course, and I look forward to doing more with you. And um, yeah, so 
thanks for coming Thank you. and you guys don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't what are you waiting for make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the button so that you are first to get the notifications when i post a video i hope to see you guys really soon until next time